the introduction of the needle exchange program 30 years ago, we became one of the pioneers of a harm reduction approach to dependence. So the difference is that for the most part, institutions that promote some kind of control of drug consumption are promoting abstinence and presenting abstinence as the only available treatment. With harm reduction, abstinence is not called for. We are more concerned that people learn to manage their consumption in ways that will reduce the negative effects on their life. If I'm looking back to my past, the years that I was injecting drugs, because I also was an injection drug user for part of my life, one of the things that is really a little amazing for me is the idea that I was using such unsafe practices. I had no place like this to go to, to learn where to do an injection safely, and I learned my practices from other people on the street that were also injecting and using very dangerous practices. So part of what we're really proud of here is that in terms of preventing those infections, HIV and hepatitis C, we have these services that can educate people now to do their injections in a manner that's safe.